Hey YouTube, Aqua Alex coming at you on this Friday evening. Hope you guys are having a great week thus far. Hello subscribers, I love you all and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now today, I'm going to be doing my very first informative video in a little while. Now over the next three weeks, I'm going to have many great informative videos. I'll be bringing back my top 10 series and having some other great informative videos. Alright, so today's video, I'm going to answer the question, can I use salt in my aquarium? Believe it or not, a lot of people are always asking the question, is salt good for the aquarium? And it's actually a very controversial item or controversial topic because most people feel it's good while others, while others feel it's bad. But today, we're going to talk about salt in the aquarium. Alright, I personally use salt in the aquarium and there is nothing wrong with using salt in the aquarium. So, I'm going to discuss the good about using salt in the aquarium because to me there is nothing better than using salt in the aquarium. To me, using salt in the aquarium is nothing but good. I'll discuss that with you guys. But first, you don't want to use regular table salt because that is iodized. You want to use non-iodized salt. So they do sell an aquarium salt out there. I know Walmart has it, your fish store probably has it, but that can be kind of expensive. So as a chef, I always have my hands on culture salt. I get this relatively cheap. Um, usually I can get this like a dollar per case. And in the case, there's usually about 12 to 20 of these. So I use this. This is very cheap. Um, again, don't use table salt. You want to use culture salt. All right, kosher salt, and for those of you who don't know, kosher is Jewish, the way the Jew Jewish people eat um, their foods. No, I'm not Jewish at all, I'm Italian, although my mom thinks I'm Jewish because the way I'm so cheap. <laughs> I'm just kidding out there, but you want to use kosher salt if you're not going to use the aquarium salt in the fish stores and Walmart and things like that. So if you're not going to use aquarium salt, kosher salt is best. Now, let's talk about how salt can be good for your aquarium, all right? One of the best things salt does to your tank and your fish is it'll actually heal injuries. Things like fin nips, things like open sores, things like that, salt is going to be your best friend. Salt is going to help heal those fish, all right? Now, the fish store might tell you to buy Melifix or some kind of um, medis medication. Well, it does work. It does cost a pretty penny. All right, so nip fins and open sores, things like that. Kosher salt and aquarium salt is the way to go. It helps them naturally and quicker than the medication does as well. Another good thing about kosher salt is it's good for ick treatment. When your fish has ick, I always recommend to crank up the temperature and add some salt to the aquarium. Salt will help kill the ick cycle in your aquarium. Now another good thing about salt in the aquarium, it will bring your nitrate levels down if your nitrate levels are really high. I actually did not know that until I did a Google research about kosher salt. So that is pretty cool. Three great facts right there about kosher salt and aquarium salt in the aquarium. It will heal fish, it will kill the ick cycle, it will bring down the nitrate levels, and it will also kill parasites in the aquarium. Now, if you do have parasites, I still recommend to use Proxy Pro, but also use salt, because salt will help that uh, kill the parasites as well. Now, I would never use salt in a live plant aquarium because it will dangerous to plants. But in any other aquarium, you can use salt. Now, if you're going to be using this in a clown loach tank or a red tail boater tank or anything with scaleless fish, such as fire reels and stuff, I would minimize the, the, the amount of salt, meaning don't put too much salt in, maybe like once a week after you do water change, you add salt. But it can still work for scaleless fish, even though people say it will kill scaleless fish. Not true. Salt actually works wonders for crayfish as well. So again, scaleless fish, you want to take it easy on the salt, maybe just a little um, handful. 
Maybe about that much is up. Maybe about that much salt, if you can see that. Alright, not too much salt, though, because then you'll actually a little bit more than that. A little bit, maybe about that much. Maybe a small handful is all you need. Alright? So, I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any more questions about using salt in the aquarium, feel free to ask. Again, use kosher salt or aquarium salt. And never use aquarium salt or kosher salt in your planted aquarium. Oh yeah, one thing I should tell you. Never, ever pour a lot of salt in your aquarium. Just a couple handfuls. Alright, don't go like this, pour the box in the aquarium like I've seen some people do, because that's way too much salt for your tank. Alright, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel.